Hi everybody, this is Jen Mulhern and I'm here with OrchestraTutor.com to talk to you guys a little bit about rehearsal etiquette. Now, we all have different instruments and we all have different backgrounds, but there's one thing that we do have in common, and that is we sit in orchestra rehearsals together as a group, basically as a team, trying to accomplish the same goal, which is to make our music sound awesome so that when we perform it, people clap and get excited. So, in order to accomplish this goal, of course we have to go home and practice, and we have to be good students, but there's more to it than that. There's little things that you can do for your teacher or your orchestra director that will go a very long way. Number one, definitely turn the cell phone off. Imagine right now that you are from a country where nobody can afford an instrument and only a select group of people even get to be in orchestra. Everybody else just sits in school and slaves away. So it really is a privilege to play an instrument. You know that. Treat it like that, right? Don't let any distractions get in your way. Put away your cell phone. Don't even let it be a temptation, right? There are some times where we use our phones for apps like tuning or metronomes, but other than that, Really just try to put all distractions away and keep your eyes on the teacher. Now, second of all, the little sounds that we make in our chair may be small to us, but if you're in a big orchestra rehearsal with lots of people, even little tiny pluckings or practicing at all, any sound adds up. And if you've ever heard an orchestra do tuning or if you've ever been to a concert where they warm up before they play, you know how loud an entire orchestra can be. So I want you to put yourself in the teacher's shoes for just one second and imagine that you have this very important announcement and that it'll really affect the orchestra, but you've got to be able to be heard. So my practice is to sit in rest position and to actually work on being still. I push a little bit through my feet. I try to sit up tall. I kind of imagine what it would look like if I was like on the cover of a magazine, cello monthly. All right, whatever instrument you play, you've got your perfect rest position. And when you're sitting in it, you should feel comfortable, strong, and confident. And if you're sitting there, ready and expecting directions, you'd be amazed how happy your orchestra director is gonna be and how quickly your group gets stuff done. Okay, now here's a big one. You get to orchestra rehearsal, you notice when you play through this piece that there is a part that you're still not good at. What do you do? Well. Of course you want to get good at it and maybe there's a little bit of quiet time in orchestra that you can try to maybe work out a few fingerings but the majority of practice does happen at home so the best thing that you can do for your entire orchestra to sound good and for your director to get things done quickly is to hit the hard spots when you're at home alone when nobody else is listening because really when it comes time to actual orchestra rehearsal it's no longer time to practice as a solo person. You're actually practicing as a team. So in order to do that, you've got to have your part prepared. I usually go through my music and I mark times 10 spots or something that I'm going to do when I go home and I'm going to repeat it over and over again so that the next day at rehearsal, I'm the person who gets every note and everybody wants to follow me. All right, so of course being quiet and making sure that when the orchestra director is giving directions that everybody's able to hear. Another thing you can do is just look at your director. Maybe even slide a smile in occasionally. You'd be surprised how tired people look sometimes when you're sitting there on the podium looking at your students and you know they're so excited to learn their instrument, but they look like this. <laughs> so look at your director. Let the corner of your mouth lift a little. Get ready to listen to what they have to say and if they're working with another section in the orchestra and you do want to shadow bow or do something very very quietly be ready because at any moment they might give you a direction all right and that gets to my favorite point stopping and starting rest position whatever it looks like for your instrument really is a very short distance away from ready position as a matter of fact if you try them quickly rest position and ready position could be something you could find in under a second. When your orchestra director points to your section and says violins, violas, cellos, let me hear you at measure 35, your job is to get into ready position as quickly as possible. And you'll notice that when you do this, orchestra rehearsals go so much quicker. Because every time it takes everybody five minutes to get ready and look at their hand and find the place in the music, 
who really wastes a lot of time, which makes everybody a little bit more bored. So if you can get to ready position as quickly as possible and find your music with your eyes, as soon as your orchestra director calls out a number, you're gonna notice a big change. Finally, when you see the stick stop beating, or when you hear the orchestra director say, cut, stop, right? Stop immediately, go back to rest position. That's the number one thing that eats up minutes in a practice rehearsal. So if you can do all these things, you will notice your orchestra director is gonna be happier, your section is gonna sound stronger, and the team of the orchestra is going to have a level of confidence and they'll be very efficient in rehearsals. But you can definitely do your part. All right, well, good luck. See you in the practice rooms.